Thank you, Madam Speaker. The next, uh, I give the floor for Lord Fatafehi Fakafunua. It's a Speaker of Legislative Assembly uh, of Tonga. You're welcome, Lord. Thank you, Chair. Your Excellencies, my fellow Speakers of Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, I bring warmest greetings from the Pacific nation, the Kingdom of Tonga. I'm honored to be here to stand in solidarity with Ukraine and with all of you here today. I thank Latvia for organizing this third parliamentary summit of the Crimea platform, especially as this is the first time for the Kingdom of Tonga to participate. Chair, yesterday I had the opportunity to visit the Museum of Occupation of Latvia and was profoundly moved by the powerful exhibition, demonstrating the dark reality of occupation and aggression. The horroring stories of the resilience amongst oppression was a poignant reminder of the human cost of conflict. The Friendly Islands, Tonga, is extremely blessed to have never been subject to occupational colonization. And so this reinforced the importance of advocating for the dignity and sovereignty of all nations and the importance of standing together in solidarity against oppression and aggression. Having traveled over 30 hours from the other side of the world, to be here today. I'm very cognizant that we are the only ones present from the South Pacific region. Despite being the lone voice from the Pacific's small island states, I confirm that collectively from the blue Pacific continent, we can be a resolute and powerful voice for justice and peace. I wish to therefore reiterate Tonga's unwavering commitment to multilateralism and parliamentary diplomacy. Tonga has consistently voted in the United Nations in favor of resolutions that call for end to Russia's aggression, including those addressing the humanitarian consequences of aggression against Ukraine and the necessity for international cooperation in resolving this crisis. We have pressed for the recognition of Ukraine's territorial integrity and the necessity for international support. As a nation that values peace and stability, Tonga firmly believes that aggression and the illegal annexation of sovereign territories has no place in the rules-based international order. We must collectively stand against such actions and advocate for a world where multilateralism and diplomacy triumphs over conflict, conflict suffering, violations against humanity and injustice. The humanitarian consequences are particularly alarming as citizens, mainly women, children, and the elderly, continue to suffer the greatest burdens of con prolonged conflict. Tomorrow, we return to the Pacific with a much deeper understanding of Latvia, the Baltic states, as well as why parliamentary summits, such as the Crimea platform, should serve as a crucial impetus for mobilizing and strengthening international support for Ukraine. In closing, Tonga remains steadfast in its beliefs that Russia's aggression, the violation of territorial integrity, and the illegal annexation of Crimea has no place in the modern world. We believe that peace is not merely the absence of conflict, but the presence of justice, equity, and respect for international norms and international rules-based order. Chair, I will continue to advocate amongst Pacific colleagues and the parliamentary networks to preserve peace and security in Ukraine and of course in Crimea. Slava Ukraine. Thank you, Lord Speaker. Then uh, I want to invite the Madam Anna 